Hello everybody, this is Mario Kaiba with another episode of Mondays with Mario Kaiba. Screw the rules, I have no money. Today we got a special guest who, believe it or not, is actually the second Dutch VTuber I've interviewed. However, there was an issue with the recording of the previous video. But let me introduce Ibru Hime. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ibru Hime. Alrighty. Now, first question. What got you into VTubing? Uh, believe it or not, I actually was like a cam streamer uh, for a while and like I really liked VTubing because of like the animations and the style and the um, like like the creativity you could do with it a lot. And so I got really interested, especially after seeing like a lot of friends models and the creativity they put in and the story. And I was like, you know what, this could work well, especially if I also like combine it with a story-wise with my cam streams, because I do still do from time to time cam streams. So I have like done this like this story that fits with my VTuber, uh, VTuber uh, model and a story that fits with me, the, the, the person that's on the camera. So literally you're the VTuber avatar versus me or a R L thing going on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, most the, people... like Never most mind. people I... like have I... sorry, yeah. Most people like have like a... have given already a it's a name like for my VTuber, which is Febrew. And like and like Cam Ebrew is just like Cam Ebrew, like a really a like real Ebrew or just a normal Ebrew. Well I gotta say I did see pictures of how you look around and well, admit you are the kind of girl I would flirt with IRL. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen any pictures of you. What? I haven't seen any pictures of you, but I would say you model nice. Suit. Yeah, I pretty much based myself after Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling like that. I recognize the hair. Yeah, season zero hair with the season with the series one freaking white suit he occasionally wears. Oh, I don't remember the white suit. Well, That's he like rarely wore it, but he had it. I will say this: I love suits. Something best thing ever. Ladies like about a sharp dressed man. ZZ Top was right. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's just so clean and nice and like nice at business. It's just like that that gets a woman going. Ex complete opposite of my real self because I just wear a bunch of old clothing, more of a t shirt and jeans guy. I have I have noticed that with a lot of people, like like their VTuber avatars is like the clothes that they kind of like but would never wear. In my case, like this is like my VTuber avatar, the clothes of it, are like based on things that I actually have worn before. And now I'm interested in seeing that, but let's move on. <laughs> Alright. Now, one thing I have to ask about your avatar. Go ahead. Do you get times where people mistake you for Argama Witch? I am, a, I, I am a witch, it's uh, it's my thing, but uh, what did, kind of witch or did you say? Did you like just a witch or... Our gamma that's witch my... VTuber. No, uh, not, not, not for someone else. I, most of the time it's like, oh, a witch VTuber, like, I, like, oh, most actually like people who come into my streams haven't seen many witch VTubers, to be honest. They're like, oh! I'm like, I'm still, like, looking for people who are, like, witch VTubers, uh, and it's, like, not as easy to find as it as it seems, well, apparently. Well, Argama, which is well known in the educational department, teaching people how to be VTubers, I learned my stuff from watching her videos and Sapphires. Uh, I know who you mean now, yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen a bit of her videos as well. 
But I've never been compared with her because our color schemes are so different as well. Well, your color scheme reminds me more of classic Carmen San Diego. Ah, uh, I like that. I like that actually a lot. Because I do like Carmen San Diego's like design a lot. Yeah, and that's the first thing I thought is okay. Who threw Argama and Carmen San Diego into a blender? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, that, uh... There, I, like, my favorite color is red and uh, in combination with black. So I was like, okay, this has to be something that my feature, the Edpital, needs to cut across. While keeping still a bit, like, of myself in there. So, like, you can see where it resembles me in some ways and in other ways it's like... Like... <sighs> In the perfect way, I guess, a perfect version. But it's like something that I really love, and like this character is like what I love to embody. Well, the thing about VTuber avatars is we can make them the selves we want to be. Yep. And uh, I will say that whatever my VTuber avatar does, I do think like I want to try that together in real life. For example, my dresses, is, it's like. It's a dress kind of thing that I also wear, but also like modified in a bit that I like. And I do like outfit designs that I am like, oh my god, I actually want this for myself. Maybe I can get it one day because I have done outfits that I've designed myself and had like a um, a person made it make it for me. Uh, so I really do like finding that and trying to bring that kind of bits into real life, I guess. Uh, but also in the same part, like my my avatar is like this. Kind of, in a sense, it's me, but it's also, like, a me that I'm comfortable with, like, exaggerating a bit, I say. It's not exactly, like, um, like, my reactions are genuine. That's one thing that I need to clear up, because a lot of, I have had people before that have heard my reactions, uh, because I'm, like, I have, like, such uh, extreme reactions on stream, and, because, like, you see, you, like, before the interview, you went, like, with my high pitch high. It's something that goes automatically without me realizing, and a lot of people like that. But I have also had people like go up to me and ask me like, "Are those actually real?" Yes. If you ask my really real life friends, they will say like, "It's it's as real as it can be." Because just one minute she's like normal, and then the next minute she's as high pitched and like, like like active and energetic as you can think of. Because of something we said, it's like it just goes automatically with her. Yeah, that's one of your more endearing points, too. <laughs> uh, you call it endearing. I know that a lot of people call me, like, loud and <laughs> can be enough, so, can find it obnoxious. Well, when I was younger, I used to be loud. Now I'm more quiet. I, I mean, that. I think that's a part of growing up, though, right? Yeah, now you're just making me feel old. Hey, hey, uh, it's the same for me though. It's like, if for me, it was actually the opposite. I was a lot more quieter when I was younger, and I got louder as I grew o older because I dared to speak up more and like let my voice out more. But I have like a jet, like on my own already, I have like a very loud voice. It's just I didn't speak much or like let it out, I guess. But well, now, well. without me filtering myself, it just goes out. <laughs> Well, when I was younger, I had two modes, either really loud or them the quiet one. Oh, I had that too. It's it's like the either the extremes for you have no middle ground. Yep. Uh, I will admit, I was gonna ask about backstory, but you already gave me that pretty much. Yeah, it's um. Uh... Yeah, my backstory is like, well, uh, there is a bit more to my backstory as well. It is it's because I have like a server which is called the uh, Himei's Witchy Kingdom, which is the kind of the story is like which is were um, not exactly welcomed and were hunted upon, and the witch queen guided everyone to this kingdom where she that she created the magic where everyone who is like an outcast or doesn't feel like welcomed in the place that they used to be 
can go there and like have a place of their own as long as they are willing to work with everyone in the kingdom and have a fun time and a good time and I almost said something political communism <laughs> 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 It's it's kind of like, yeah, in, in a sense, it's like, I just want to create a place where I, no matter what you got, because, um, like, I have been, for several reasons, not only for my disability, but also for my background, because I'm a Turkish woman living in the Netherlands, um, been not exactly welcomed in many ways in different communities, um, and what I always want to get across is like, no matter what you have, no matter what you are, I don't judge. Tell me your story, come to me. I love hearing them and I won't judge. Well, I'm Sicilian, right? Well, half. So I got the olive skin tone. It's kind of something that reflected in my avatar. Uh, yeah, I was already wondering. Like, it's 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 darker than the original Kaiba one, so I was like wondering if it's that's your own skin tone. Yeah, believe it or not, underneath those pixel shades is some dragonic irises. Oh, love dragons so much I try to become one. <laughs> Though I do have an alternate version of my avatar that has bunny ears. I did for a joke. I want to see that. Send me. <laughs> I will. I will. It was something I did for Easter. I was like, I typed it in the tweet. Your therapist. The Kaiba bunny isn't real. The Kaiba bunny can't hurt you. Then I put the Kaiba bunny. Should have picture the Kaiba of him. <laughs> you can have you the Kaiba bunny. You now. You can have the Kaiba bunny later. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> and. Okay, I'm gonna break my filter. If you also want, you can have the real Kaiba too. Sorry, what did you say? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! You went to fast Forget me. about it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I will watch it bait later back in the video. I'm going to decipher this. Just like the whole, like, this a fox say joke I did in your one stream when someone's talking about killing foxes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh dear I killed God. a fox. What did it say? <laughs> oh, that. Uh, yeah, I remember that. And I was like, what? <laughs> the Genshin Impact one. I was like, yeah, but it's a, it's a part of this game. Killing foxes, killing shit. Yeah, but okay, I not asked entirely, the but... person what did it say, and you didn't get it until they typed it. I was like, what? I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, that's such an old meme that who remembers it? Meme's not even ten years old yet. Don't, 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 no, no, shit, shit. Well, better than Gagnum style. Actually, I'm lying, Gagnum style is a lot better. I was about to say, I think I like Gagnum style better, like, music-wise. Actually, when that came out, I freaking practice the dance just to show people up when they're trying to do it. Really? That's yeah. amazing! <laughs> hey, my... Okay, uh, fun thing is actually, like, when I was 10 years old, I became an aunt uh, of a little girl, and when when Gangnam Style came out, she was like, I think, 3 or 4 years old? <laughs> and the most... And, like, when you're young yourself, and you get, like, the meme and everything... And then, like, your little knees, like, lost it. Like, the, the the most funniest thing, I think my mom still has a picture or a video of, some, of, some, of it somewhere, where we were dancing Gangnam Style together. Like, I was trying to teach her because she was, like, she was pulling my, because she kept pulling my, like, uh, skirt most of the time that I was wearing. And she was like, okay, I want Gangnam Style, Gangnam Style. And, like, putting it on the phone. Mm -hmm. It was the most funniest thing ever. I mean, the cutest. Sounds adorable. The whole situation, not just your knees. <laughs> yeah, I I have been like kind of lucky being an aunt at ten years old because it's like a, a strange and a cute experience, but also like oh my god, we're more like sisters if anything. It's probably how your niece looks at you, like the big sister. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is, uh, because, of, like, we have only, like, 10 years difference, even now, she's like, Hi! She's, like, the same size as me, I'm like, what the fuck? It's because, some odd reason, kids are growing bigger than they were when we were young. It's- it's not me, just me, that this is realizing. Like, I look at my niece, and it's like, God damn it, you're so freaking big, like, at nine years old. But she was, even in her class, she was the biggest in her class, I'm like, where did you get this gene from? Um, like, where, where did it come from? Got a question. Is the father somewhat Scandinavian? No. <laughs> He's Turkish as well. Then I don't know. Uh, apparently my mom's dad was, because uh, uh, her dad and mom is, are divorced, so we're biological parents. But her dad was apparently, like, quite tall. I don't remember because I was, like, little as well, and I feel like adult looks tall in your eyes then. But yeah, then it's like, ha, ah, like still how, like at nine years old, she was like, she came to my shoulders at nine years old, and I'm like, like looking at this kid, I'm like, in no time, how how tall are you gonna be? Like she, she looks like she's like she's like ten years younger than me, but she looks the same age as me. I've I was worried. Her, her mother, what are you feeding this kid? Miracle Grow? <laughs> <laughs> I know! But she's not the only one. I've noticed that with kids a lot these days, that they are just growing so fast. I know. Heck, my little cousins, which is basically my cousin's kids, they're freaking growing up to be tall enough to be basketball players. Maybe potential idea. <laughs> huh. Well, I had a slight. Investment? No, I've had a slight Napoleon complex since I graduated, because I was the third shortest guy. In truth, the second shortest and I were the same height, but he took that line because so he could walk beside his girlfriend, who was the second shortest girl. Oh, wow. But I always had a freaking height complex because of that. And when I see these kids get so tall, I'm just, like, so pissed off. I think a lot of people don't like their heights i mean in my family we have like a lot of height diversity like my mom is like the shortest she's like i think like four foot nine if i if i go in american like yeah measurements so uh, she's, she's, she's fine. <laughs> i don't like it I, i'm going to be honest i don't like it change it america it's so confusing yeah it's okay freaking I'm with a group, we call ourselves Boom Squadron. The main three are me, the leader, the Australian, and our Canadian friend. <laughs> and Let me guess, it's always about the metric system. Yeah, freaking Australian always says, one of these days you're going to have to go to the metric system. Like, no, we're not. But yeah, weren't for a fact his girlfriend joined the, is part of the group too, who is an American. I'd be surrounded by the frickin' metric system. <laughs> That's amazing. And the Commonwealth in general. <laughs> oh no, that's that's one thing I will never be able to understand. I'm I, I'm guessing it most of the time, but I will never be able to understand the American system for that. Most of Americans don't understand it either. <laughs> hey. I keep it. Heck, I actually find the only time I find a metric system useful is when I'm using metric sockets and wrenches, you know, tools. Because some uh, yeah. nuts and bolts are metric sizes, and it's easier, like, okay, this one's like a 13 millimeter, this one's a 14. And that the whole, this is a three, this is a half inch, this is a freaking three eighths. Or, I'm like, okay, sometimes I'm like, yeah, why do we do this? <laughs> Is just go with, with with our metric system. It's easier. It's it's like every big majority of the world takes it on. I'm just I'm just messing with you. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> you little thing, you. Heck yeah. Hi, hi, I gotta I gotta tease my interviewer sometimes. Yeah, be careful. Sometimes the interviewer might like it. 
Why? Okay. Can I comment on that real quick? <laughs> I have a dungeon role, in, which is for people who will misbehave on my server. And same thing goes in my redeems. I have a to the dungeon if you redeem, which uh, timeouts people. Why is it that people fucking like that shit? I don't get it. Because they, some they people just do like it to before be naughty. That. Some people. The majority like of the people it. are naughty. Hey, you're not eating your Then the majority way. of them. I like teasing. I That's like. Naughty. I like. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Got you there. Not if the person likes it. Oh my. <laughs> Got you there. <laughs> All right. Now, next thing. What is your overall goals of being a VTuber? Um. Well, the thing is, before I became a feature, but uh, my streaming was more. I want to show people that I can still do a lot, even though I'm disabled, multiple disabilities. Uh, so like, I did art, I did gaming, I also like did always like commentated like, oh, this is like maybe with sight you could do this better in a game. This is like something. Uh, if you did this, maybe some people might find this easier to play it for a visual impairment and that kind of stuff. Or, like, if you look for controls for people who have, like, like chronic, uh, chronic uh, inflammation of their joints, this might be a bit, like, easier so the buttons are closer and these buttons would work better together than these buttons, for example. Uh, I try to comment on that as much as I can or, like, tell people how I see a game. How, like, okay, I look at the screen now, what do I see? My... On my left, you you guys see the monsters coming in. I don't. So I always like if there is a sound cue of like when the soundtrack changes when there's a battle. Then it because then it alarms me. Oh, there is actually like enemies on you. You just don't see them at the moment. Isn't that? And then I can like stop and look. But isn't that always the case? You hear that boss music, you instantly look around? Not always. No, no, n not always. Uh, no, no, actually, a lot of people, like, know when they go into a fight, uh, they, they like, they see, like, constantly go into a fight. But when I, like, for example, go world exploring, and I'm, like, running aloud, and suddenly, like, apparently I'm being hit on from somewhere. Uh, I'm like, wait, am I, am I stepping on something? Am I missing something? And then if you, with certain audio cues, you also know what kind of boss you need to look out for, which helps a lot. Because if it's a flying boss, okay, I need to look up on the sky. If it's a, just like regular monsters, then I am just need to look around real carefully, like, do a 380 with my camera. So that already helps a lot, as well as like, what I, for example, like, love in Genshin Impact is the auto-aim. Please, can we have that more? <laughs> oh boy. Some uh, games you actually need auto-aim in. It, it really does. I, it's, it's something that I really like, because it's still like, okay, what you need to do is the, is focus on the combinations rather than aim. You can aim, like for example, with the arch, you need to aim, but that's why I don't choose archers. I hate them. You well, will always hear me complaining I use about them, them. In freaking Monster Hunter, because it's a good support role. Yeah, is it? I don't know. I don't. I just it's just well, for it's a easy person to do like, combos like, in Monster Hunter because they're either one or two buttons. Hmm. Though I'm more you. Though I like to use a more complex weapon in a game like the long sword slash katana. I like uh, if we're going by weapons. I like swords and majority. Well, I don't like spears. I, I in games I don't know why. Spears are like the most. Anno I don't not not like they, I I will take them over uh, bows like an archer and that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I I will always prefer a sword, like a broadsword or like anything like. Sword type, no, 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 spears or whatever. Hey, most video games like to wield a big sword, all right? And no, it's not compensating for anything. I just like that's, how badass it looks. That's, that's 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 your words. I will just agree with it, but I, that's your words. Yeah, you but said that's it the first. usual joke people would freaking put in the comments. Anyway, I'm gonna send you something through Discord real quick. Sure. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. It's so cute. I'm also, I'm also, I'm sorry I probably picked your... <laughs> 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 it 
It's okay, I got a freaking kind of cross dress one I did because of because fr freaking Israel's girlfriend, Titania. She pretty much joked about it happening in a stream. I I really like that. Okay, you prepare to be scarred it. for life. I like that you prepared it for with with like oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying something and done on with <laughs> But I was gonna say I like that you match it with your white suit. Yeah, the ears. Yeah. Yeah. Uh and I'm like uh, I I don't know. I d I'm not gonna comment on this one. I don't know. I can't. Well, no. that belongs to a different <laughs> avatar that's based on a sim I made to be the Kaiba Sim's mate called Rules Chun. And she can't dress like a bunny girl, but there's no bunny ears in that game. I was able to make that reality in Vroid. Now I just use her as like the model for the clothing I make on both. However, Tatanya's like, yeah, we'll see Kaiba wearing Rules Chun's clothes. I just like, fuck it. You know that. what bugs me? You know what bugs me? What? The sneakers. Yeah. It bugs me. It bugs me. Ah. And not even in Bucks Buddy matter. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Tell you, you what, I do this so you don't have to look at it. Think about Discord. Thank you. Do way deletion. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to scare you for life. You wanted the Kaiba it's bunny. You got the Kaiba bunny. I want the Kaiba buddy. I like the Kaiba buddy. It's cute. Yeah. All right. Now, okay, you got your real goals. Now, I guess for the rest, because I try to keep it just barely under an hour, we can BS around and talk. Sure. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to say one thing about the goals. Uh, one other goal that I would like to see if I can maybe accomplish one day is... To see if I can get my art uh, as far as around the world as I can. Because I want to go, like, do a world tour. I want to travel around the world, but my health won't allow that. So I decided, you know what? How, how can I reach around the world with me unable to travel so much? And the next best thing that I realized was, like, that a different part of me is still out there. Which is my art, because my art is an essential myself. Fair point. About the I art. Did. But that does actually seems like a good goal. Yep, so I am going to aim for that as much as I can. Well it's beautiful. Feel. I'm trying to work really hard for it, and uh, it's getting along um, better than I thought it would. I mean, with Twitch streaming, uh, I have been lucky to grow so fast the past few months, actually, that I was, like, so surprised with it. So you do um, art I have a lot of, uh, as well? Yes, I do art streams as well. I do art and gaming streams. Uh, okay, for the art I... streams, I actually recommend trying out Vidra. You should try it out, even if you don't stream it. What is it. it? It's another freaking VTuber program for 3D models, except for it got different features. Like, you'll always show another screen with your avatar than your avatar's face on a different screen. Okay. And there's a free version and a paid version. I've only tried the free one, but there's one mode where called Artist Mode, which will follow your mouse pointer or your tablet, wherever you're drawing at. And it'll show it like you're painting it on the screen. Ah, that's interesting. Because uh, I don't think if, uh, if you have ever heard me complain about this on the stream. I suck at 3D. I, I, I can't. It's just like, it's like my brain can't comprehend 3D so much. Like, if you see me like do art or anima uh, animation, it's all 2D. Or 2.5D. Which is like kind of in between. It looks 3D, but it's actually 2D. Kind of like the Hololive avatars. Kind of yes. It's like that. It's like 2D, uh, live 2D, which is like you rig it uh, so it can turn and that kind of stuff. Um, but it is still technically 2D. If I could actually do something like that, I would get one of those kind of avatars. 
I am looking into. Uh, I'm like learning it myself. Because actually when I used to do 2.5D animation, I used a different program which is called Moho. Which was like, it, it got a bit bad like uh, for a while, but right now the original developers are back. So I'm looking forward to the future of it. But like life to the, I want. I'm, I'm trying to learn how to rig and see if I can rig something myself. But I do want to keep my 3D model because you can do a lot more with 3D. Uh, you can like also make your hands move. You can bring it more to life than with the 2D. Heck, I wish I'd learned how to use other programs to add things like you do with your hat. I have not actually okay. Uh, I have not made my own VR model. Uh, I have, I have come across someone who can do that. They use Blender and that kind of stuff, and I they are a lot of uh, fun. Like their name is Badinator. Uh, I need to like it's it's X Badinator X, and they are so good. They have done like outfits for the people in the community. They have done VR models for people in the community, and. They are so nice and so chill to talk with. They like when I want a new outfit, we sit down in the in, like for Twit uh, Twitter DMs and we go through everything, and like we 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 switch back and forth like IDs, like oh this and this and this and this. Because eh, I, because I, I make like the base drawings because I don't know what is, um like, what you can do in three D, like what it, what is she capable of. She adds on to that, which is really nice. I would recommend her. Well, the truth is, I wish I knew how to do that stuff because, believe it or not, the pixel glasses of my avatar are actually just a freaking hair modification. Really? Yeah, you can make glasses on your 3D avatar in Vroid by doing a hair layer change in the texture. Glitch out. Which I just had to take the pair I had, which had no background, and figure out the right dimensions and stuff. Uh, I repeat, doesn't that glitch out? Yeah, not really, um, because it doesn't have any freaking bones in that piece of hair. Ah, I see. Yeah, what makes your hair moves and stuff in most 3D models is bones. Yeah, Without uh, bones, I see. Yeah, it stays I... in place. Uh, yeah, Fioroid was one thing that I tried, but it was like, yep, nope. Ne <laughs> I am going to find someone to do this, and luckily I found someone who was able to do it with me. Because, um, like, we got my original outfit uh, done, and we got a Coke Waifu outfit done, and we'll be working on more outfits in the future. Because uh, I'm going to see if I can get like a maid outfit done, a cat girl outfit, uh, well, like lots of stuff. Well, if you're looking for like the textures for that, Minnie Desley, that other Dutch VTuber I told you about, she makes and mm -hmm. sells that stuff on both. Yeah, I want. And she will the thing do commissions is... too. Yeah, the thing is, what I want with uh, how do you say this? I thought about getting it from Booth, but the thing is, a lot of VTubers do that, and I want to make something that's my own twist on it. Because it, we, we are working on the maid outfit, and I designed that like years ago, and it's like, for, you can see it's an Ibrahime maid outfit. Let me just say that for now. Like, it's very, like, noticeable. <laughs> uh, and I want to keep that with every outfit that I have. For example, the Coke Wife outfit, it's it's very, like, uh, the ribbons have, like, a little uh, crown on it, the the outfit is, but you can still recognize it's a Coke Wife outfit, it's like, the Coke, it has the Coke designs, the booth and everything, um, but it's still, like, recognizable as me, so to say. Well, I was gonna tell you is that she also does commission work, meaning if you had a specific design, I know she could definitely do it. That girl does some amazing freaking outfits. Send me her, uh, you can send me her, her, uh, does she have Twitter? Yeah, she has Twitter. That's how please I found send me her, her. Twitter. I'll send you a link to hers. You're both, hell, I have a feeling you two might end up co oping if you meet, because you're both pretty much same time zone, same country. Next, uh, next thing, only Dutch stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You're oh. both only speaking in Dutch, too. <laughs> 
Personally, I uh, the thing is, I have like a lot of people, Dutch people, in my server. So when I play games, a lot of Dutch people show up, and there will be like Dutch here and there. I try to keep it English as much, but then there will be Dutch here and there. Well, as I said before, I like your accent. I'm glad to hear that. Because the thing is, like, yeah, uh, my my accent, like, like, yeah, like I said before, my accent is like a bit of a weird accent. It's not exactly well, it fluctuates Dutch, but... like mine does. Yeah, that it's it's like a really weird thing. So when people say like I like your accent, it's like, uh huh, which one was I was doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the one that definitely sounds Dutch. That's good to know. <laughs> In that, you just sounded a little British. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I'm talking. It switches so much that I can't. But it also depends on who I'm speaking to. Because uh, if I'm speaking to someone who's British, it's it changes to that. If I'm speaking to someone who's American, it changes to that. If I'm speaking to someone Australian, it changes to that. But if I speak to someone who's Turkish with a Turkish accent, it changes to that. <laughs> it's so bad! I don't do this on purpose! It just goes unconsciously. Yeah, it happens to me too. Oh, I mean, it happens to me too. Yeah. <laughs> when I get too relaxed, it shows. <laughs> uh, it's the That's same the thing I'm trying to keep my... the type of voice as much as possible so I don't change <laughs> accents. Oh uh, dear god. No, uh, I have the same thing with my niece because my niece has picked up like Moroccan street uh, speech. Like, you know how uh, like how they talk on the streets and everything and it's like... Oh lord. <laughs> uh, every time I speak to her, I go along with her style of speech and it, it, like I have to catch myself on it because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Am I right? It's yeah, it happens a lot, though. It's like, oh my god, wait, I was doing that. Oops. Hey. As I say, things happen, including that. Yep. But a lot of people, like, are sensitive about that, that I've known. Like, uh, if you, like, get on, like, accents of someone else, they are like, oh, that's racist or that's offensive. It's like, it's not meant to be. It just happens. Well, no. I'm one of the people that call other people out. Like, if they say you're doing something from another minority when you're a minority, I'll call people out and I'm like, isn't it more racist for judging them for that? That. Uh, I will say this, that I've sort of seen sort of things of minorities that uh, have done, like, 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 they judge other minorities, and I'm like... Uh, you guys complain about being treated so badly as a minority, yet you treat other minorities just as bad. What the fuck? Get your get your uh like ideals straight up, like fixed up. Oh yeah, it reminds me of that conversation earlier. Telling you how about I was I'm Sicil half Sicilian, right? Yeah. With that up skin tone. When I moved to West Virginia people didn't know what Sicilian was, they thought I was Mexican. Or Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking so, about the boonies, and I was in one of the most racist counties there was. I was about to say, you're in West Virginia, I heard stuff about that! And what? I'm Dutch! Oh, so you've heard of Boone County. Yes, I have. I have. I have a, I've go. heard how bad it is. I have heard how bad it can be with uh, the racism in West Virginia. Uh, well, yeah. Freaking Boone County wouldn't be famous if it weren't for Jessica White, a.k.a. the Dancing Outlaw. Ugh. But anyway, I got so many racial slurs when I was in school. I can imagine. And none of them were for the right race. Heck, they started... Did adding sand in front of the n-word. Oh my god. That's the reason why yeah. when I hear someone call someone else that, I get really pissed off. Give them give them a kick in the ass. They, uh, back when I was still in school, I was the only, uh, like, immigrant child. Like, like not, not Dutch blood. 
uh, in my class. And the, <laughs> the thing, the thing was, it it is very ironic. Like I wasn't bullied because I wasn't Dutch. Uh, I was bullied because of my disabilities, which I always like said, like, huh. There is people with disabilities amongst your own kind. You, like, like, like a lot of people I have like met that they complain like, oh, I was bullied because of my, uh, of my, of my race. I was like, I wasn't bullied because of that. I was bullied because I was nearly blind. <laughs> and people thought like, oh, let's bully the nearly blind kid who can't defend herself. They'll pick easy targets. It will pick freaking easy targets, and, um, I, like, the thing is, it was, like, always, like, the, the, the things where they focus on, like, the slurs and everything, were all, like, slurs towards disabled people, rather than slurs towards my lineage, which was, like, okay? Because if it was my lineage, I was, like, oh, fuck off, you're just, 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 uh, like, a racist buffoon. But when you're disabled, it's, like, what the fuck did I do, like, Okay, I get like I like when you race. It's like okay, I'm not one of your kind. You're going to bang on. You're going to gang on on that. But I have been always taught from home when they're like when you have disabled people, you need to protect them and you need to like help them as much as possible because they can't do as much as you can. Uh, they like in certain regards. So treat them with respect and help them where you can. So when you go to the school. Where you're, when the thing where you're bullied for is not your race, which is you, the thing you most of the time see, but your disability. Well, with me, it was just my skin it's tone. Sad. They didn't bully over my disability. They didn't bully me because I was fat, unlike Ohio. No, they just bullied me because I was a little darker than everyone else. Well, I was the darkest kid out there. I was like dark, like I had like, I was the only girl with curly hair. Black hair, uh, dark eyes, dark skin. <laughs> like, I looked as Middle Eastern as possible. <laughs> Heck, maybe even, but like, even a bit of, like, Arabic. Uh, some people would think I am, and... It's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, there's actually this one convenience store near where I lived that was ran by these people from India. And one day I was there waiting to get some chili cheese fries made, and some of these older people I knew walked in, and they were like, Hey, I thought you worked at Wendy's. When did you work here? I was about ready to say, do I look like I work here? But I had to stop myself because I realized I was being baited. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I almost fell for that. Hi, oh, dear God. I when I hear like stuff like that, I would just so it's like the thing is with 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 Dutch people, it's not never it's never like smart comebacks like that. It's more like just the 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 just more like the meaning, like straight up the meaning. It's like getting also like some cases like violent, like screaming. They it's not like like that. Like that is like in a smart sense they're trying to do like a it's it's like how do you say it? Subtle, in a sense, but here it's like straight up and loud. The louder you are, the harsher you are. Apparently, it seems like it works more. They think it's not like even like oh, we're trying to go, we're trying to get you out like subtly. We are just going to straight up like yell and scream at you. Yep, sounds Dutch, all right. <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> It slipped again. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah. Your okay. words, not mine. I, I, <laughs> the thing is, I'm like. <laughs> that was my accent that slipped. <laughs> yeah. Uh... You don't need to defend no. yourself because, yeah, it was my fault, my accent. No worries. <laughs> I mean, I like when people change access as well. It's like, oh, okay, let's see what... I have, like, with a... I have a D&D group where a majority of the people, like, have a different accent as well. So, like, uh, this one person that I have in my D&D group can do, like, such a really well British accent. And, like, when she plays a certain character, she changes to that. And it's, like, so, so like... Like, like, it, it catches on to everyone. 
And eventually everyone turns British, even though like one person has like needs to do a Russian accent for a character. And it's the most funniest thing ever. That's because a Russian accent is strong, comrade. It is, it is. And then <laughs> but the thing is the British accent is so catchy, it's like you copy it really easily. Well, my my problem is like I can do a Cockney accent, but it always happens when I try to do an Australian. Uh, that's the thing. Like I, I can't do. If you ask me to do an Australian accent consciously, I can't. It happens when it happens. It's a weird thing. But a British accent, I can try to do that more than an Australian one. I don't like know my why. Like you're just doing right now. <laughs> I, I, I uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. When I'm talking about it, it happens. But yeah, that's that's that's. It, it just. It goes more naturally than the Australian accent. The Australian accent is like, it flows, or it doesn't. It just comes to you, or not. Well, I've only ever did a proper Australian accent one time, according to my Australian friend. That was when I was doing Crocodile Dundee's. Now that's a knife line. He's oh like, my god. He's like, Kaiba, you just did an Australian accent. I'm like, wait, what? Because <laughs> we were joking about yeah. that movie, and... Well, I'm gonna butcher it because I'm doing intentional. Like, but this is a north. Like, I've just butchered it. However, I actually happened to have done it correctly one time, and it was by accident. I know which line you mean. Oh my god, how do you do that? Like, I know which. I know how you, you mean that it. Like, a you just it. Now this is a north. Yeah, okay, you were closer this time. Uh, yeah, like, I'm sure if I practice, I'd probably get better, but I don't want to freaking offend the Australian either. <laughs> uh, uh, I just like people who try to do accents. Like, I have this, when the, when streamers have, like, made me attempt an accent uh, redeem, it's like, let's go loose. <laughs> well, my Irish accent's really butchered. You want to hear it? Go ahead, I, I want to hear it. This is a really butchered Irish accent, you know. You, st I will say it's no. It doesn't sound Irish. It's it does. Oh God, what is that it part sounds... of England? Oh, what part of England? No, I don't. I, s I had a friend that has that accent. God, where did they come? They they came from a certain part from. From like uh, from the UK and it was not Ireland, uh, but that sounds like that. It's, it's because it sounds more that sounds a tad bit too soft for Ireland. Uh, kind of like this, you know. That's a bit more Ireland, yeah. That's more like Ireland. Yeah, it's still butchered. When I was trying to do the soft one, my hard one's more butchered. But you're really hard to turn Scottish. That uh, that's Scottish, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, when it's really like that soft ir uh, Irish attempt you did, it's, it reminds me of a lot of friends I had. I I can't remember for the life of me where they come from from the UK, but I was like, that's really interesting, uh, but like accent to have from Britain. Well, I, tr well when I, well with my nieces, which none of them are biologically my nieces, they would ask me to read to them, and I would do different voices when reading a book to them, so they know the difference between the characters. And I always wanted I to be a voice doing... actor. Uh, I love that. I I wanted to do voice acting for a while, but I don't. I don't know how to say this. It's like keeping that voice uh, is hard. That that as well. Uh, well, it's not necessarily keeping the voice. It's like getting into it. Because when I record on my own, because when I do live streaming and I change voices for characters, it's it's easy, like on when I'm live streaming, but when I'm when I need to sit down and actually record shit because I use to record stuff for my animations. It's the most like sitting and looking at your mic and being conscious of your voice, and then you have to hear it back. To be honest, I don't really like hearing my regular voice, and heck, I hate seeing my voice come from actual faces. One of the reasons why I did V tubing. Oh my god, is that why? Like, is that actually one of the reasons? Yeah, because I'm... Well, one of the reasons is I'm tired of not actually looking like Kaiba. Because I used to be a cam streamer like you. I see. Like, you can look through my YouTube channel, and you'll find stuff of me, which sometimes I will be, like, 
the kind of guy where I have a mustache and goatee. Other times I just let my beard grow out because I'm lazy. Which I really need to shave again because it's the summer. Oh my god, I can never understand people who have like a beard in the summer. It's like, do not find it hot. laziness. The I, thing is, I have like curls, I have really thick hair, and in the well, summer it's like... I Mediterranean hair. How do you think I feel? Because I haven't had a haircut <laughs> in so long? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm Mediterranean as well, so shut up! So, I actually understand your pain, so you don't have to talk about it. Yeah, but it's like, oh my god, like, like, I look at my dad who has a beard and I'm like, shave it. It's just, he complains about it being warm, I'm like, shave it, you will, you will know why you're hot. Uh, yeah, I don't really know much about Turkey, but isn't there like a reason why most men don't shave? Uh, for my dad's generation, yeah, a lot of people like, a lot of those men find it like much like where, like to wear half a beard, it was to that time, it's like, manly! Which is stupid. Nowadays, it's like a majority of people just have beards, so it's like, uh, it's in right now, so to say. Yeah, well, I need to freaking chat mine and bust my mop, which is another term I've cut my hair. Oh, dad. Uh... What's worse is my eldest sister's boyfriend's a barber. Problem is getting him to do it. Oh, um. <laughs> Is he any good? He's pretty damn good. He freaking makes a lot in tips. Ever, he's oh, like God. saying, we keep talking about it, but it never happens. I'm about ready to freaking grab the clippers and do it myself again. Call his, like, like store, like, like he's probably has, like, a store phone number. Call it that. I'll say, like, okay, I'm not calling to make a appointment. Well, he lives in, like, a different city. Uh, <coughs> I see. My sister has been living with him, me. the eldest one, not the one I'm living with. And, yeah, it's quite a distance to drive. We're lucky to see okay, her once yeah. a month to come and visit. Why did you promise? Okay, then then you can just better get someone else. Because when you, it, like, driving to the other city, unless you live in the Netherlands, uh, that's, I think in America, it's like, that's a quite a wild drive. Most of the time, Yep. Here it's like, uh, I don't know, like, here in three hours you've almost, like, been to one side of the Netherlands to the other side of the Netherlands. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I shouldn't visit the Netherlands for a reason. It, my sister and I have this gene from her mom that if we stay in a while so long, we pick up the accent too easily. <laughs> Oh God. Because my sister freaking ended up doing it on this trip with some British people, the oldest one, and she came back, she was calling Mommy Mummy, and she was speaking in a slight British accent. It took her a while to return to normal. God, that's, that's genius! Oh. <laughs> yeah, we easily pick up on accents. I like that. I'm the only one in my family who does that. <laughs> Like my, uh, my, no, actually my niece does it as well, at least with, if it's like the, uh, people who speak in Dutch but have an accent, she pick on their accent as well a lot, like, really quickly. If some people, it's natural. Yeah. But, like, I am the only one between my sisters that does that. It's like, and they get annoyed really quickly at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, it's because, like, they are like, stop it! I'm like, I can't do it. But then I secretly laugh, I'm like... <laughs> <sighs> you are... You are such a number. <sighs> hey, 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 repeat that again, Darren, I dare you. I said you are such a number. When is the next time you stream? Hopefully tomorrow when I'm doing more Monster Hunter with the Canadian. I will I will show you why people fear me when I ask when I, when they stream. Well, I stream... My normal stream time would be about 2 hours and 20 minutes from now, but I'm always late. 
Yeah, that's that's uh, uh better than me because I don't have any schedule at all. Well, the only time I ever have a schedule is when I sign me stream with him. He streams straight from the PS4 while I do the remote play thing, so I have my OBS overlays in my VTuber avatar. Yeah, I only do like scheduled streaming when I'm doing streams with other people, but even like sometimes that is just like, oh, it happened on the fly. I wouldn't mind co -op collaborating with you once. You're Hell fun. Yeah. That's I'm yeah. It's really fun to talk with you too. Like we're just hopping from topic to topic. I know. I have a feeling that if it weren't for the fact there's limited time on the interview, we'd be here all day and night. <laughs> probably, probably. I can bet on that. <laughs> yeah, but sadly, we're already 55 minutes in, which means in a few minutes I'm gonna have to shut it down because I keep it under an hour for a reason. I edit my yeah. stuff on PlayStation, my PlayStation 4 through Share Factory, and you can only edit up to an hour of footage. Wait, 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 wait! You're on your PlayStation? No, no you, we're you, on you my computer on your right now. But yeah, you can add me on PlayStation. Sure, I'll send you. But do you want my wait, wait, but you, streaming you PSN cannot. or you want my regular one? I have two. Uh, I don't have a PlayStation, but like you, 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 you added your your your. Recordings on your PlayStation? Am I just understanding it right? Yeah, I copy it to a USB and edit it through its editing program. I'm shocked. And then I export it from my PlayStation. I'm shocked. I'm. I'm. I. Why torture yourself with that? I actually find it easier <laughs> to use the PlayStation's Share Factory program than most stuff on the computer. That's why. Really? Well, that's just from my personal experience. Other people might find it more complicated because they have to use a controller. Yeah, I would say that's like, that takes so much longer. And not really once you're used to it. Besides, most freaking editing programs are free trials or they're pricey as heck. Well, I have had, like, some good editing programs that were just, like, free, and they are, like, pretty decent, like, in my opinion. Uh, I do use, like, Adobe Premiere myself now, because I use, uh, like, a lot of Adobe stuff for a while, so I was like, okay, you know what, I just might as well get the whole package. Yeah. Anyway, we're 57 minutes in, so I think we're gonna have to end the actual interview itself, so we can keep talking. Yeah. After... Yeah, anyway. Alright, everybody, this has been Mario Kaiba, and... Bro, hi! It was nice to be here. And I'll probably see you all tomorrow, and hopefully next week I'll have a guest scheduled. Until then, screw the rules, I have no money. Peace. <laughs>